Tonight at 6, an Austin health alert. A new popular way to get high that's easy to buy, and it's legal. You may not have heard about this, but teens and 20-somethings sure have. It's called spice. It's sold as an incense. But because of a chemical that's added to the herbs, users consider it synthetic marijuana, fake pot. You can find it in local head shops, online, and even in some convenience stores. Tonight, we go in-depth with important information and a warning for users and parents. This is what it looks like. It's the latest high sweeping across the country. Very nice. It's very smooth. Spice, with brand names like K2, Space, and Swerve, has hit a new level of popularity here in Central Texas, and it's perfectly legal. Like immediately, you get this tingly sensation all over your face and your head. Sold in local shops as an incense, spice is a mixture of herbs that has been treated with a chemical, making it mimic a high from marijuana. But the effect it has on users can be totally different. Um, the first one I tried was K2, and at first I, I wasn't sure what to think of it. it. The first effect I had was my mouth went numb. This former user asked us not to reveal his identity, but wants to share his experience with spice, the highs, but mostly the lows. The word high does not describe what I felt. What I felt was was very was n not good. I didn't for lack of a better term I was I felt like I was fighting my body. He tried several types on the market. He says to find relief from headaches and just relax. All of them made me feel anxious. They made me feel uh, panicky, paranoid. Uh, one of them made me physically sick. I threw up. I I it was bad. It was just really bad and it, and it burned. It it felt like a burn on the inside. Increasingly, spice users are showing up in Central Texas emergency rooms, complaining of symptoms just like those. Seton Southwest Medical Center Emergency Department Director Dr. Laura Waltrip is concerned. And there has been uh, a few patients in town who have seizures and very high blood pressures and those sorts of things. Then this is not your usual cannabis effects. And, and can be quite dangerous. Waltrip says more and more patients who have used the fake pot or spice come in severely agitated, have rapid heart rates and breathing, and terrible hallucinations. And most of them can't tell doctors exactly what they used. And so you're thinking, well, it's herbal, it must be okay. You know, it's, and that's just not true. So who's buying it? Well, mostly teens and 20-somethings. Out here on UT's Drag, Guadalupe, the word is out about spice. A lot of people we talked to knew about it, and it's easy to buy. You can get it online at many convenience stores, and if you're 18, walk into any head shop, and you can easily get your hands on some. So the hospitals are seeing these. Matthias Forrester with the Texas Department of State Health Services has recently begun analyzing the numbers. People calling the statewide poison centers reporting the use of spice. In 2008, when spice first hit the scene in Texas, there were three calls of exposure. In 2009, the same. But in just the first four months of this year, at least 36 exposure calls have come in. People just don't know what they're taking, and they don't know what the effects will be. The Drug Enforcement Administration recently sounded a warning about spice. Kansas has banned it and several other states are considering the same. This former user does not think a ban is the answer, but he thinks more regulation is needed. Don't know if they've been cleaned, if there's pesticides. Like, I, I, it really does need to be regulated and controlled. Spice is used among people on probation because the synthetic chemicals used to make it don't show up in a drug test. And the military has also reported problems with spice used in its ranks. It has a zero tolerance policy against it. Now, the health departments, both at the University of Texas and Southwest Texas State University, told me they are well aware of the popularity of spice, but they don't have many reported problems with it just yet. You can read more on this story and look at all of the data the Department of the State Health Services has collected on spice on KXAN.com. Find that in-depth box. It's halfway down the right-hand side of our homepage.